Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I am practicing. Uh, yesterday I had a really bad day for painting. Uh, I tried to do a swipe using my black swipe mix with some new colors that I had and it just sat on top. I was very disappointed. I scrubbed it. Actually before I did though I tried my white to see whether it was the swipe mix or whether it was the paints and the white sat on top as well. So I scrapped that then I tried to do a ring pour and just using some scrappy colors with the colors that I uh, some just using some leftover colors with the colors that I had for the previous painting and it just looked terrible so I scrapped that as well so today I am going back to using the pouring medium that I used when I was having success um, I've got these beautiful new colors I will show you what they are the Amsterdam greyish blue the Amsterdam cobalt blue uh, I think it actually in brackets it says ultra I'd say it's ultramarine cobalt blue and the Amsterdam Prussian blue phalo so yeah I'm buying some big tubs of colors I know that I will use over and over again because I just they're pretty um, so I've got them mixed up here them I'm not sure if they're a bit thick but uh, this is a test so I'm gonna do puddles I've got my white swipe mix and I'm gonna swipe across and then I'm gonna try my black swipe mix if that works and do black on either side um, so because I haven't had success with this yet so let's get started all right, let's get dark first. I do love some blue colours. Well, that doesn't look like it's mixed very well. I'm just going to give that another quick stir. Hmm. I have a little bit of iridescent white left over from another pour. I'm not exactly sure what's in it, but I'm going to put a little bit in. Just a couple of spots, tiny amount. Let's put some dark over here. This is going to be quite dark, this piece, by the looks. So I'm going to go this way with the white. Let's start with the white. Come on, don't sit on the top. Let's drag. 
open up. Alright, so I am doing something wrong. I've got to be. I wonder what would happen if I swiped over the top of that again. Interesting. Let's try the black. That black didn't work very well. Putting the black away. Getting a smaller palette knife. And I'm going to go through here. Okay. Look, we've got some good cells. The black hasn't really worked. I don't know what would happen if I tried to go through there with white. Put the black on there. Then get grey muddiness. Let's find out. Some nice stuff popping up there. Hopefully we can make something out of this practice. I do like this, this uh, Prussian. Prussian blue phthalo. It's got a hint of green in it. A little bit just here. Do a little swipe through there. It's quite nice. It's going to pop through very much. All right, let's get some interest in this piece now. Quite like that back there where the black was. I like that. All right, I'm going to get some gloves on. Let's see if we can make something out of this.
Ruined. So, the lacing didn't work very well again. It did on some colours. It did seem to work on the Prussian blue, but the colours, I love them. And I love this through here. This could do with something. Where's my iridescent white? Go Prussian next to it. Ah, oh, those colours are pretty. And I think that you're a little white again. Just pretty. Now I know some people would add on and swipe, but then I have to tip more and I'm gonna lose the best parts. Okay, here is the wet result. I'll bring you in. Uh, so my lacing, I've been thinking about it and I'm going to try something else to fix my lacing, possibly. It's very confusing because I think uh, different paints require different mediums, I think. But I love this section up here. We've got uh, just the way it blends and the iridescent white's going to pop. I've also got the iridescent white doing some interesting things there. So that's my favourite part. And this is my not so favourite part. <laughs> so this is where the, look, the lacing's just a wash. And obviously the white up here is, I mean, it hasn't sunk or broken up at all. Yeah, it's very strange. If you're all struggling out there, oh, I understand. And I'm trying to work it out. It's got to do with the consistency of the paint and the medium that's, that you use. I just, you know, I got it right and now I'm trying to work out how I did it. What am I doing differently? So this time I've got the same pouring medium that I used last time, but I think my paint to pouring medium ratio might be wrong. I think I need to up my pouring medium. So I'm going to try that in the next one. Um, I also, I want to have, or well, maybe we'll discuss that when, when it's dry, but there's some other things I want to keep trying. But I'd really like to finish the swipes back to where I got those really good ones. And then I think I should know the exact formula or if it's my hand. Am I not applying enough pressure? 
I know, it's very complicated. All right, I'll bring you back when it's dry. Okay, here is the dried result. Now, I've placed my thumb strategically in this position because while it was wet, I stuck my finger in it. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, basically straight after I did this painting, I did another painting because um, I was keen to get it right. And I placed this over on my drying rack where normally things are pretty dry while they're over there. And I went to grab it out because I thought it was a different piece. Um, forgetting it that this was wet and just went like that and uh, yeah so I'm not overly concerned because this piece I'm not that happy with anyway um, but there are some nice things in this we've got the the shine again the iridescent white and you can see where is it uh, just it's around here somewhere the iridescent white's picked up a bit of that Prussian blue, which is giving a little hint of it. Oh, can you see it? Is it focused? A little hint of um, shimmer in a different colour. And I really like these spots through here, which go down the side. And that's got a bit of shine in it too. So that's quite pretty through there. Yeah. Also like the blending up here, which is um, giving me some ideas. It's interesting. So even just mucking around like this, um, I learned a few things. I went immediately and did another one, which will be the next video, which I can't wait to show you because it's actually turned out to be my favorite piece so far. sides I mean that side's not too bad but the other sides yeah they're something to work on I think not too bad not a disaster but that's that one um it's also a bit of looks like a silver line through there it's actually iridescent white that's that one um like I said, the next one's made all of this worthwhile. The last three, that I've, including this one and the two before it, have been a bit of a disappointment. This one was great in the fact that the colours are just stunning. A good learning curve, getting nailing down what I think I like personally. Um, you know, everyone's different. I've had videos I've put up that I've thought, I'm not that big on this piece, but then other people have said how they love it. So everyone has their own tastes. But yeah, this has got some interest in it. So don't get me wrong, I don't hate this piece. Except for the fact that I stuck my finger in it. I don't know what I would put there to fix that. Or whether I worry about it. So that's it for this one. And I'll see you all in the next one. Can't wait to see you there. Bye.